Hey guys, this is Shaw Kirby 77 and welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. In the last part, we did time trials on the Flower Cup. And today we're going to do Grand Prix on the 50cc, which still in carts only. And let's see, who should I be? Oh, we all want to be Luigi, so I guess I'll be him. And I guess I'll start with... Hmm... You know, actually I'll start with... The mini bees. How about that? All right, let's get started on the mushroom cup. And this is the slowest, slowest engine class ever. So this video is gonna be real longer than the the other engine classes. Well, because they take a little bit longer. And yeah, all right. We're gonna play baby Luigi. Yay! And that was a lame start. I have to say. Yeah, if you guys can tell, this speed is really, really slow. I'm not used to 50cc. I usually play as play uh, on 50cc. Like this is really slow. <laughs> I'll have to say that. But hopefully it'll go by go by fast. Uh, and I probably know that this video is posted um, on on a Saturday, but uh, last week or a couple days ago or. Whatever, I watched the E3 coverage, and holy cow, they sure got me again. Like, they really surprised me with a bunch of stuff. And I saw that coming. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, first off, I'm in E3 coverage. Um, they started off with um, a Zelda orchestra, which they played, um, you know, some Zelda tunes. Well, not really, they just played the main thing. Which is kind of remixed a little bit, and it it was it, it sounded it sounded really good. It was a really good um performance, and yeah, they were just celebrating the 25th anniversary of Zelda. Last year was the um, 25th anniversary of Super Mario, but this year is the Legend of Zelda, so that's pretty cool. And I got okay. Okay, why are they going ahead of me? Really? All right, that's it. I'm gonna keep my shell just in case. Anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, this year was the celebration of 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda! <laughs> oh, come on. Don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be second. Okay, no more interruptions. Okay. Yeah. And then they announced some 3DS games coming out. They announced, um, Mario Kart, uh, for the 3DS, um, Super Mario 3D, Kid Icarus Uprising, um, Luigi's Mansion 2, that's a new game. I, I wasn't really surprised that they're making a sequel for Luigi's Mansion. I mean, it's been like, what, 10 years since they made the first one? But I wasn't, I was never expecting a Luigi's Mansion 2, because a lot of people didn't really like that game. But I guess it was like a black sheep. Uh, Mario game or Nintendo game, whatever. Well, it was not really a Mario game. It was actually Luigi's own game, but still. A black sheet of Nintendo games or something like that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of other 3DS games. I think that's pretty much it. And, oh yeah, they have Star Fox, but nah, I don't really care about Star Fox. Um, and I already knew this already, but they're making a Kirby Wii game. Yay! I don't know, it's called Kirby Wii. I'm not sure if the tile's gonna be changed or not, but it's called Kirby Wii, so for now. And there's making a Kirby DS game, which I already knew that, about that. And it's called Kirby Mass Attack. And I gotta say, Kirby Mass Attack reminds me a lot about Pikmin. Yeah. And I think I heard that they're making a Pikmin 3, but it's for the the new console that they're make that they're developing, which is called a Wii U. So that's pretty cool. And the Wii U, it looks really awesome. It's just like a little um a little bigger than a DS, but except it's, there's no double screen, it's just single screen and but there's a touch screen and you can do a whole bunch of things on it. Like you can draw on it, play games, chat with your friends, share a video or pictures, a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty much like an iPad. In my opinion, it's like an iPad. 
But you can play games if somebody wants to watch a TV program or TV. Like, you'll still play the game, but just on a smaller screen, which is kind of cool. And they got a little bit of um, some footage or sneak peek of another Zelda game, but that's for the Wii U. It looks similar to Twilight Princess, just the graphics of it. It looks similar to uh, Twilight Princess. So I bet that's going to be a new Zelda game coming out probably next year, 2012 or something like that. I'm not sure when this Zelda game comes out, but all I can say that Skyward Story comes out this holiday season. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I saw a little bit of um, demo gameplay from Skyward Sword, and at first I didn't really like um, Skyward Sword. Just by the look of it, it looks kind of like Wind Waker-ish. Like, I'm not really a big fan of Toon Link, whatever. I mean, the, the only game I like with Toon Link is Wind Waker. That's my favorite one. The other DS games I, didn't re I don't really like. But plus, I don't even own them, but I don't really like them. I, all I like is Wind Waker. Because this, you know, this kind of, not the sequel, but like 100 years after Ocarina of Time, which was interesting, like the story of Wind Waker. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I, at first I didn't really like Skyward Story, just by the look of it. But... Once you know, once you see a little bit more deep, deeper uh, in Scour Sword, like the characters and the villain and all that, it it got me amazed. I'm like, I really want this game now. Like, it's, it looks really amazing. Plus the 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 trailer for the, the music in the trailer is really catchy. And if you guys don't know, if you play the trailer in reverse, it actually plays Zelda's lullaby, which is pretty cool. Like, I saw uh, the trailer, a video of the trailer played reverse. And very sneaky at Nintendo to put Zelda's Lullaby as the main tune for Skyward Sword. Instead of it's supposed to be played in reverse, if it, um, Zelda's Lullaby is played in reverse. If you um, reverse the, or rewind the trailer, it plays Zelda's Lullaby. And if you guys saw the latest trailer from E3, you saw the girl, and at first, um, I thought I was like, you know, a friend of the link. And if you guys saw like a uh, demo gameplay of Skyward Sword and you saw the name of this girl, then yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I should spoil it. Nah, I'm not gonna spoil. But I'm surprised who that girl really is. I'm like, really. Okay, that's probably more hints that I should not give. But the girl in that trailer, I don't know, she looks kind of cute. Like in one of the demo gameplays, it's actually really cool. Like the I don't know, like her her dress, whatever. I don't know, it's like a really old style. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh jeez. No, 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 no. I fell. <laughs> and, but the villain in that, um, in Skyward Sword, oh my god, he is, he reminds me of Zan. Like, just the villain in that, in Skyward Sword, he just reminds me of Zan. Like, he's really cool, but weird in a, in a cool, weird way. <laughs> I don't know, he's kind of freaky, um, at some parts. But other than that, he looks really cool. I don't, know, I don't know why he reminded me of Xan, but this is villain reminds me of Xan. If you guys see the demo gameplay of Skyward Sword, then you guys probably know who I'm talking about. And plus his name sounds weird. But, hey, it's a creative name. And why am I have sucky beginnings right now? Or, why am I sucking when I start this race? Oh, whatever. Um, yeah. The, this villain name is really weird, but it gets weirder <laughs> if you um, fight him or something like that. He, he's really weird. Like, yeah, he's really weird. I'm not gonna spoil that much. I'm not, I don't know. I like spoilers, but I don't wanna. But there are some people that don't like spoilers, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it to myself. Uh, what other games are coming out? Um. This wasn't surprising at all. I knew they were gonna make a Mario Party 9. Yeah, they're making a Mario Party 9. I'm not I'm not surprised at all. I knew they were gonna make a Mario Party 9, 9 someday. And they actually did, so that's kinda not surprising for me, because I pretty much 
I had a feeling that they were gonna make Mario Party 9. And I bet they're gonna pick, make Mario Party 10. I wouldn't be surprised at that either. I mean, you can't stop a Mar the Mario Party series without a 10. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, um, making Final Fantasy games, which I'm not a fan of. I don't really care about Final Fantasy. I don't even know any Final Fantasy stuff, okay? I don't play Final Fantasy, whatever. Um, what else? And I saw that coming. What the heck? Uh, what other games? Oh, they're making people more 3DS. I forgot about that, but they didn't show a trailer for it. There's a whole bunch of games that are coming out, but I mostly pay attention to the, you know, good series games like Mario, Zelda, and Kirby. Um, but yeah, they show the Kid Icarus, um, trailer, but it's a different one. And when I first saw the trailer, I was sort of disappointed because... I really love the first trailer that they so that they showed last year in 2010. I really love that trailer. It just it just really epic. Plus the music got, just caught me. I'm like, oh my god! Like when I first the first saw the trailer last year, I, at first I didn't know what it was until I recognized Politana. I'm like, are you serious? Is this like a new Kid, Kid Icarus game? And when I saw um, Pit, you know, descending from the sky, saying, "Sorry to keep you waiting." I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, are you freaking serious? They're making an actual game for Kid Icarus. I'm like, oh my gosh! Like, I'm really excited. But the trailer for this year, I didn't like it that much. For one, Pit's voice, they changed Pit's voice. He sounded like a little kid, which, I mean, I guess he is a kid, but I like his other voice better. Like, kind of similar to Brawl, but more different. I don't know, similar to Brawl, but... A little bit different, if you guys watched the first trailer from last year. But this year, I wasn't that too happy about it. I mean, I'm still excited about the gameplay and all that stuff, but I don't really like Pitt's voice. It sounds like a little kid to me. And it, it, the the the, uh, the voice for Pitt is a girl, actually. So, yeah. And I'm surprised we didn't get anything. Oh, well. Um, Sorry, guys, but I had to end it here with my story cut short. So, next time on the Mario Kart Wii, well, we will do the next cup on 50cc. So, this is Shaw Kirby 717 saying bye!